Hey, what's happening everyone? Welcome back to another uh, video. Yes, I missed it. I, I needed more Beavis... I needed more Beavis and Butthead. Uh, it, it's funny, so last season when the trailer dropped, I didn't know it dropped. And then when I watched it after, I was like, okay, yeah, it's new Beavis and Butthead. We'll see how it goes. There was nothing that really won me over and I was one of like... The 3% that wasn't huge on Do The Universe. But I was huge on the show as he was. We reviewed every single episode. And I don't know why this always happens. So after I dropped the Elemental trailer, Rotten Tomatoes, I saw it on their social media. They're like, hey, what's Anderson's new film? Yeah, baby. First trailer, tomorrow. I was like, okay, cool. I'll do that and then I'll do the Ennisman, uh review. That, that does it for this week. And then, uh... Someone who comments on a lot of my stuff, uh, he goes by the name of Sean White, he commented on my elemental trailer reaction, and he's like, where's the Beavis and Butthead season 2 reaction? And I'm like, what do you mean? Where is it? And he's like, it's up! Now here's the funny story, is that I have been, I have been checking every single day since the teaser dropped, because I missed that one. I've been checking YouTube every single day. The one day I don't, fucking drops. It's like 2 in the morning. We are literally like just waking up. Second we woke up, I was like, dude, gather yourself. There's a new trailer. So before we check out this trailer, what I want to do is I want to discuss our hopes for this new season. Kind of like what we wanted to expand on the last one. So my thoughts as far as the last one was that I liked it. I just, I, I felt like... I mean, so one thing I was very happy about is that it didn't feel like it toned it down. I was like, well, with how, like, the world is and everything now with, like, cancel culture, I wonder if they're going to make it more, like, PG-13. Nope. I mean, it was it was just as vulgar as and as just raunchy as I always loved of Beavis and Butthead. One thing that I kind of wanted, though, is that I feel like they didn't take full advantage of the creative freedom. So I want to see that expanded on this season. I would also like to see if maybe some more characters come back. If we get like Stewart or Todd back in the picture. Maybe the coach. We will see. I want to see <sighs> old Todd. I want to see what he looks like as an old guy. That's right. Because, well, does this take place? Yeah, this takes place now, right? Yeah. Yeah, it takes place now. Because I remember uh, the multiverse that was being teased in the movie. That was expanded on in the first season. So they're like their their regular selves just in this time. Yeah, so seeing uh like Todd, the principal, <laughs> uh fucking uh Stuart, I wanna see all these people come back. Cause I know in the last season we got like Van Driesen. <laughs> Didn't we get uh Mr. Anderson as well? Uh, yeah, uh, we did. Yeah, we did. Because they were stuck on the roof. <laughs> Yeah, so I want to see more of these characters come back and get into more of the shenanigans. But yes, guys, with all that being said. Let's check out the first trailer for season two of Mike Judge's Beavis and Butthead. Come and get it. So much new Beavis. <laughs> check it out. So when are you gonna put those needles? In? What? You're cool. Ooh. Oh what? Oh. <laughs> so much new Butthead. Wait, hold on. Let's pause it. I saw kids. I saw a rabid Butthead, and I saw a Kraken. <laughs> and, and they're doing acupuncture. Did someone procreate with Beavis, or did he just donate sperm and somehow his kids found him? <laughs> also, at the beginning of the trailer, it showed him, uh, like, flexing, uh, like, their bodies again. They're like, oh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. That kind of reminded me of the past episode where they're trying to get the chicks, and, like, they go down the waterfall and everything, takes them into the middle of the fucking ocean. I'm already liking that it is staying, it, it does feel like an actual follow-up. It does feel like the next season. <laughs> Yeah, maybe my okay, we're seeing the like older versions of back again. And stuff. Uh, Parenthood is. Cool. Oh no! <laughs> why? Why do they have kids? Uh, Hold wow. hands, guys. Yeah, all right. Uh, so many all new reasons. Hell, so many questions. Oh. Okay, so no. The detail in the animation is amazing. To stay on the couch. <laughs> now let the games begin. An all new season oh my of God. Is streaming April 20th. I now pronounce you husband and husband. This is the happiest day of my life. Wait, what? What? They're doing the gay rights? Wait, what what do you mean the happiest day of my life? Since when would Butthead want to marry Beavis? What? What? Okay, I have a lot of questions. Okay. How did they get kids? Is that all the same episode? What's up with the Kraken? What's up with 
the them, them marrying each other. Also, I do want to say, like, the animation here. Holy shit, there were some times in the past season, like, uh, most notably, like, the B episode where you saw the bees buzzing around the screen. I was like, damn, <laughs> they're putting at least the budget into the fucking animation here. It looks like it's going to be just as good, if not better. I didn't see any old characters coming back, but everything that I saw, I tell you, man, out of a 45-second trailer with 12 episodes... That did it for me. That's all I need to see. We saw Kraken. We saw Beavis and Butthead possibly like, getting married. We saw them with kids. The animation in that. I think this this season is going to be just as good. I can't wait to see. And yes, obviously, uh, we will be re reviewing each episode like we did last season. Uh, and like last season, the first two episodes will be dropping at once. It will be this time on April 20th. I wonder if there's going to be... Some reference to like 420 in these episodes, the first two anyway, or something. I want to know about the skeletons. Do they like <laughs> die or something? Yeah, it showed like they're they're like skeletons and everything. Again, like I kind of want to go back through like the trailer and just look at like a few like little like like scenes and everything. Who procreated with Beavis? Like it's just kind of <laughs> like one of those things where you're like, why and. Then you have to wonder, was it because he donated sperm? Because he mentioned that in uh, last season. So maybe they uh, somehow found him, which was probably a big mistake. Look at this thumbnail, though. <laughs> I have a lot of questions. How did they become kids? How does that connect with them getting married? Again, we're just gonna go through the trailer and like we're gonna look at some little scenes and everything here. So I don't know what the fuck is happening with here. I'm Maybe guessing this is an episode where he gets like rabies. Probably. I think that's a great idea, obviously. Now this. Now we we saw the Beavis, Beavis kids. And now I'm not like as like stunned by that because in the fire episode we kind of saw a flashback of Beavis as a kid and I was like, oh, that's gross. Yuck. That's not a... That's not a fun little little scene. This though, this is fucked up. I don't like the little butthead kids. There's so, gross, there's though. something worse about butthead having kids in Beavis. And then his wife looks like Sarah Palin. What the fuck? This is the episode I want to see. So if we look at it, it looks like he's in a nightgown. So I'm guessing this is maybe like a dream sequence. I don't know, but I'm excited. It's a Kraken with Beavis. I'm hoping it's not a dream sequence <laughs> because it's a crap. I just want to see where they're going to go in this season. All these little fuckers. Oh my god. Oh, they're gross. What I think happened here is he donated sperm and somehow, for some reason, they decided to go find him. <laughs> and then they regretted it five seconds in. Do you think that this is also, if you look there, look at that. They got the bulge right on point. They literally yeah, went all the way out. That's creepy. Why does he have a bulge <laughs> next to his kids? That's but do you, do you think this is going to be the same episode with Butthead and his kids? Maybe. Maybe he's having like a fantasy where he, what it would be like if he had kids or something. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm really curious as to what they're going to do with all these. Because, again, there's only a 45 second clip. And like literally every scene here, I just want to do like a deep dive of. Here's one of, of them in their older selves. Uh, look, it look, looks like uh, they got a construction job together or some shit. Oh, here's them back at Burger World. Burger World. <laughs> so it looks like they're going back to Burger World because I remember in the last season it showed them as like adults and, and Beavis was like, oh yeah, my last job was like Burger World. I got fired like 40 years ago. <laughs> but this is the one that I want to know about. How did Look they at this die? animation. I love how they still got the ACDC Metallica shirts. <laughs> they're all fucking faded. Yeah, see, I can't even imagine what these episodes are going to, like, have in them. What they're going to be about. I do have a theory on what happens in the episode with Beavis and his kids. He's going to somehow wind up in jail for... Because, like, their parents are going to think he abducted them or something. I don't know. With, 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 with the, especially last season, the episodes were so unpredictable that I really, I really have no idea, like... Just showing like a scene like this with them in the sewer, I'm just like, dude, anything could fucking happen in these episodes. 
We saw that even in the last season. Again, I do think that the creative freedom, I'm hoping that they're going to maybe make it a little bit more vulgar, a little bit more, like, R-rated. We will see. They get in the dump. Now this, I don't even want to... Why are those scissors so big? What is happening? I, I think I have a theory. Uh, Vasectomy. Maybe. I don't know why Butthead's running, but... Now this, I don't know if this is them visiting those, like, alien versions of them. Like, in the multiverse. I don't know what, what this is. There's a lot to just dig in through this uh, season. I do think already that this is going to be better because, again, like I, like I said a, a few minutes ago, season one's trailer, I missed it. And then I watched it on my own, and I was like, oh, okay, well, I didn't really need to do a video for that, thankfully, because I wasn't too hyped about it, but when I watched the show, I loved it. This one is hyping me up. I think this is going to do so much better than the first season. I think it's just going to be better than the first season, which I thought was already a great revival. But yes, guys, that is going to do it for the trail reaction. Um, Also, uh, speaking of this new season, 8-Bit Massacre, the only other guy on the platform that is reviewing this new series besides us look forward to a collaboration it is in the works so stay tuned for that with more details coming soon also sean white thank you so much for keeping me in the loop i don't know what i would have done if i had never reacted to this i might have just fucking quit youtube so ashamed but yes guys can't wait for this new season we will see you there absolutely starting april 20th and then later on today guys i will see you back here for a trail reaction of the new wes anderson film followed by the new folk horror film a review of ennis men tonight but yes guys without further ado that's going to conclude for this video thank you guys so much for being up with us at three in the morning and we will see you soon have a good one